It is Michigan, Michigan State Week. The game now a little more than 48 hours away, Braylon. Take me back to when you were playing. And it is Michigan, Michigan State yeah. Week. You hear the talk all week long. And as you get closer and closer, what goes through uh, the mind and the body of a Michigan football player as they prepare to do battle with the Spartans? I mean, you know that you guys are always going to be the number one focus. You know, Michigan's always been that way since 1898, which is the first time these teams played. Michigan's always been big brothers. So, you know, you go throughout the week of that. You do, you do have doubt at some points because the game's always tough. So you're like, who's going to step up? Who's going to make a play this week? But then you go in the classrooms, man, and it starts on Monday. And the fans are in the classroom because you're a regular student athlete, so you're going to class with the fans in there. You guys going to get it done? You guys going to get it done? What's the score going to be? How are you guys going to do? Are you going to win this year? So, you know, you go through four or five days of that, and you're just ready. By the time the game comes, you're so prepared. You're so mentally locked in. Like, you know what you want to do. You hate that school, especially on this week. So, by the time Saturday kickoff comes, well, usually it's, a, it's an afternoon game when I play, but now it's a night game. But by the time you get to that point, like all hell breaks loose, you're ready, though. Michigan, a 22-and-a-half point favorite in this one. That jumped up from the opening line of 21. Braylon, not too many people believe Michigan State can actually win this particular football game, this version of it in 2022. How do you as a player, though, uh, really kind of stay the course and understand that you do have to win every play. Uh, no matter what the Vegas spread is, it yeah. doesn't matter. No matter what happened two years ago or 50 years ago, it doesn't matter. You have to get it done on the field this year. How do you kind of slow your roll a little bit? And, you know, you just can't show up and win the football game. Michigan is going to have to play some good football in order to get this win. Yeah, you can't show up and win any football game. I mean, you look at Iowa and Iowa this year. Iowa's not really a good football team, but Michigan goes down. They struggle along a little bit, and then they open the lead up. You look at the Indiana game, the Maryland game, and the list goes on. But I think Michigan slowly but surely put themselves into a position where they know who they are now. They're ready and play Michigan State at the right time. Also, Michigan didn't forget what happened in Michigan State last year. They didn't forget what happened two years ago in the COVID year, although everybody else did. Jim Harbaugh and these guys that are juniors and sophomores on the staff did not not forget last year Michigan could have been 13 and 0 going into that playoff game. I repeat Michigan could have been 13 0. It could have been a perfect big 10 season, but somebody spoiled that party and it was Sparty. So I guarantee you this Michigan team, Blake Corum's never beat Michigan State. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Blake Corum as good as he's been, as good as he's done right now, he's third in the Heisman uh, voting. He's never beat Michigan State. So I think that is the perfect storm of Michigan State not being good, Michigan being really good, and then Michigan State Michigan not winning the last two years. That's the perfect storm for an ass whooping.